So it's the fourth day of my trip to Snowdonia um, and to tell you the truth, the last few days have been quite frustrating. While we've had some great walks, I mean to some great locations, the light just hasn't been all that. Yesterday was a complete washout. It rained on and off all day, the Welsh weather did its worst and uh, we just couldn't even get out anywhere really. So there was, so there was no landscape photography to be had. This morning it's not raining, which is great, but it's still very cloudy. So I've decided to come to a location that really plays uh, its strengths towards this kind of weather and really adapt my uh, photography today to the conditions at hand uh, so we at least can try and get something productive out of these last few days. So after the poor weather and changeable conditions of the last couple of days, I've decided to come up to a location that I've been to a few times before, and that's the Rübach Tramway. Um, this place is amazing, and really there's a composition for any kind of uh, weather or weather condition that you can think of. The tramway was built to service the slate quarries up here. There's a number of them, but it's Rübach itself, uh, Kutubagail, or Minoferin, which leads down into Um So in kind of inclement conditions, overcast weather, you know, really dramatic clouds or mist. They make fantastic subject material. Um, alternatively, there's some uh, small lakes here as well, giving you another kind of uh, focal point or other options, whether that's in mist or, you know, in brighter conditions. And then finally, at the end of the uh, tramway, it opens up into a fantastic vista overlooking uh, the Molwyn Mountains of Molwynbach and Molwyn Mauer uh, and down to the Vale of Festiniog, which, if this mist actually does decide to lift, might give us some fantastic uh, light and, you know, just some great images uh, around sundown. The mist has really come rolling in now and we can't really see a lot. There's mountains in every direction but you can't see any of them. So I'm taking the opportunity now to uh, kind of do a few intimate landscapes, a few abstract landscapes and make the best of the conditions. After all that's one of the reasons I picked this location so it's quite adaptable depending on how the weather conditions change. What I've framed up here is we're by on the edge of this lake and there's some lovely reflections in the really still water. And we've got uh, this post, which I think is a, like a depth measurement post in front of me, and then some tufts of reeds in front. And they make a really simple, balanced composition. So as you can see, I'm using a one-to-one -one square crop for this image. I find with my abstracts, it adds a bit of balance, uh, and just seems, I don't know, it just seems right to me anyway. Um, and then we've got the tufts of grass at the bottom leading you into that post, and then just the repeat of a tiny little post here that just adds that bit of balance again it's almost a counterweight to the larger post um, exposing for the mist here i don't want it to come out gray so i'm kind of certainly going more to the kind of top end of the histogram to make sure that the mist is nice and bright um, we'll just take that image now and see what it looks like And there we have it, a nice, simple, balanced image. That's F10, one fifth of a second, ISO 100 at 70 millimeters. Fantastic. I'm 
heading to Cootabaga Isle. The mist has come in, or at least starting to come in. Um, so we're going to try and get some nice misty, kind of atmospheric images of some of the old uh, quarry buildings and workings around there. Um, this will probably form part of my slate series portfolio um, that you should check out. I've been documenting these quarries for about the last eight or nine years, going around them uh, and exploring them. Um, it's just something that I quite enjoy doing. It's, um, you feel a real connection not just with the landscape but with the history of this area doing that. Uh, so do go and check that out if you're interested um, in looking at more of, uh, more of that series. So I've explored Cootabag Isle a bit and I've made my way up to uh, one of the upper levels which I haven't really investigated before. Last time I concentrated on the buildings down in the lower part of the quarry. Um, I've got quite a nice composition framed up here that I've been working on using this piece of old machinery. I think it's something from the winding house or something like that just down below that's rusted. There's a bit of a lead-in line down to one of the old um, quarry buildings below. Um, however, the mist has come in probably even a bit too much for this shot. <laughs> um, probably a bit too much atmosphere because you can't actually see what's down there at the minute. So um, I'm going to play the waiting game. I'm going to sit it out a little bit, see whether uh, we get a bit more, bit of a break in the cloud, um, and I can capture this shot. So I've spent the last hour exploring Kutabagail, I've tried a few compositions, had a good explore round. You saw one of them earlier. I've taken a few other ones as well, I'm not entirely sure how good they will be, uh, but I'll put them up at the end of the uh, vlog and you can uh, let me all know what you think in the comments. Um, the mist has come in ever thicker, um, it's making it quite difficult to shoot and we're quite high up here. So I'm going to carry on round and go to Ryubark, that's a bit lower down, um, hopefully the mist is a bit thinner and we can carry on shooting there. So I've just got to Reubark and uh, I've come part way down the incline here ready to go and explore um, what's left of the place and I thought the old engine house looked quite nice in a very ethereal kind of way in amongst the mist. It looks almost ghostly the shape of that really tall chimney. The only problem is, is um, I think the mist is following me around a bit today. Um, when I was over at Cutabag Isle, looking over here, it looked really nice and reasonably clear. Just enough mist to see some definition, but you know, visibil visibility still there as well. However, it's got getting thicker and thicker already. Um, so I'm not sure what we're going to get here today. Um, hopefully this one will come out. I'm going to stand here for a bit and just see if it clears a little bit. Um, over that kind of um, rear bark chimney and uh, whether that will make a nice image. So I've had a wander around Rearbark, um, had a look at what I could get. Um, unfortunately the mist was just too strong, I could barely see my hand in front of my face in the end. So I've had to call it quits. It feels like it's starting to rain as well, which isn't great, getting a bit damp now. So I think that's it for today for this location. I'm not too disappointed about Rearbark, I was here um, about a year ago and got some quite good shots from down there. So there's no point in trying to force it uh, when I don't think I can better on what I've already done. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog, hope you found it interesting and useful. Um, if you did give it the thumbs up if you like uh, what I do then please subscribe to this channel 
If you want to see more of my work, go to www.michaelsowerbyphotography.com. See you next time. Never thought it would be so hard. I grew up without a scar. Just living my life with no big worries. And I've always known what I want. Just didn't know what came along. Fine. I wanna stay wide open Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down It just gives the Stay wide open